In this video, we're going to talk about how to know if your ex feels guilty after your breakup. First, my name is Clay with ModernLove.Life, where we help you get the great loving relationship that you're looking for without having to play mind games, without having to play hard to get, and without having to pretend to be someone or something that you are not, because you deserve to be loved for the unique, amazing, and wonderful person that you are. And if you agree with me, do me a favor by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, think about subscribing to this channel as well. You can do that down below. Also, I want to let you know that we do have our course called Connect and Commit. I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description down below this video, but it will help you to kind of work through some of these emotional issues that could be stopping you and your ex from really connecting in a way that you otherwise might be able to. You can turn these moments of uh, potential let's just say risk or disaster, into opportunities for deeper emotional connection. Again, you can find out more about that down below. Not going to hard sell you on that here if it's right for you. Cool. If it's not, no worries. Let's go ahead and get into the meat of this video. So how do you know if your ex feels guilty after a breakup? This is actually a really common thing. Um, I know that on a lot of videos on breakups and things like that, people kind of paint your ex out to be some sort of evil villain who's intentionally hurting you and manipulating you and twisting you and stringing you along and using you as a backup and all that stuff. But in that, although is possible sometimes, it's very, very, very rare. What's usually happening is that your ex is um, going through their own emotional journey as well too through the breakup. They might feel guilty. They might feel embarrassed. They might not know how to interact with you. Um, there's an entire spectrum of emotions that they could be feeling as well too. And they're Probably not an evil, sinister supervillain of some sort, kind of, you know, jabbing the needles into the voodoo doll or anything like that. Um, so what are some ways that you can tell if your ex is feeling guilty? Okay, number one is if they tend to blame themselves for a lot of things in their life or if they're just kind of an emotionally sensitive person. If they're the kind of person that takes on responsibility for things, that uh, is kind of sensitive to emotional things like that, then you know chances are pretty good that they might be taking this breakup um, as something that they feel responsible for as well. And because of that, you know, they are probably aware that you're going through a, a difficult time with this breakup. They probably are aware that you're having your own emotional journey through this whole breakup. And they they might be kind of feeling guilty that they are thinking that they're putting you through this, that they're causing this pain, that they're causing you to have this sort of suffering. Um, that's absolutely something that could potentially be happening. So that's, you know, the, the first way that you can know if your ex feels guilty about your breakup. The second way that you can know is if they start to keep distance from you after that breakup. Um, you know, if they start to create a greater amount of distance. And the reason why is because, you know, none of us want to think of ourselves as the kind of person that hurts someone else. None of us want to think of ourselves as the kind of person who goes out of their way to, um, you know, cause pain to someone else. And if that's what happened during your breakup, your ex might start to wonder, hey, am I a bad person for hurting you? Am I a bad person for, um, you know, bringing up all the things that weren't working in the relationship and ending the relationship? Does that make me a bad person? And that can be something that's difficult for them to sit with. And th there's all sorts of different ways that they can respond to this kind of emotion. But one of the ways that they can do that is by intentionally avoiding interacting with you because of this emotion. Um, because whenever they're around you, whenever they see you, whenever they interact with you, they are just reminded of the fact that they hurt you uh, or that they believe that they hurt you and that they believe that they're taking responsibility for that um, by being around you. And so they want to, you know, obviously decrease that feeling of guilt, decrease that feeling of, hey, I'm, am I a bad person because I broke up with you? And they might try to decrease that by creating more distance between the two of you. So very, very common, very common. Um, so if that's happening, just know that that could definitely be 
you know, a sign that your ex is feeling guilty about the breakup. Before we go on, I do want you to know that um, your ex has their own complex emotional world, and if you want to learn more about kind of the journey that they go through in the process of getting back together, uh, we have a video series called the, the Five Stages of Getting Back Together that your ex goes through. You can go ahead and check that out up there. Um, very popular with a lot of people, so uh, you might want to check that out if you're new to this channel or if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but the third way that you can know that your ex uh, feels guilty after your breakup is if they don't go emotionally deep with you when maybe they otherwise would. If the two of you usually have deep, meaningful, significant emotional conversations about who knows, whatever, um, but suddenly it seems like that is not accessible to you. There's like this sort of electric fence of what is possible between the two of you and uh, what you're actually doing, and that electric fence is sort of like, hey, we can't go very emotionally deep, then that could be, you know, a sign that your ex feels guilty. And that's because they they don't want to probe too much into your emotional world because they might find out the truth that, yeah, maybe they did hurt you. And yeah, maybe you are suffering a lot. And they don't want to confront that. Again, they don't want to think of themselves as a bad person who hurts others. And so they they don't want to kind of, you know, go sniffing around that sort of territory and potentially unearth the fact that, yeah, maybe I, uh, I I did hurt you. So they might not talk a lot about emotional things. They might not kind of go very deep because they're worried that it might somehow come out that what happened between the two of you, the breakup and all of that really hurt you. And that might be something that they could take personally, take responsibility for, and it can be something that kind of burdens them down. The fourth way they can know if your ex feels guilty is if they keep trying to talk up how great you are and how great things happening in your life um, might be. And this is a bit strange, but, you know, bear with me here. Uh, they, they might be feeling guilty. They might be thinking that, like, okay, I've hurt you a lot, but if I can build you back up, then maybe you'll feel better, and then I don't have to feel guilty anymore. So they might say things like, oh, you're, you know, you're such a great person. Um, you're so caring and thoughtful. Oh, I, I can't believe you you got this promotion at work. I can't believe you uh, won this award or something like that. It's so amazing. So many people would be uh, proud of you for that and things like that. And I remember back when I was going through my breakup with my ex, this was um, kind of a strange thing, but but it, it, it definitely happened. This is like the, the very first breakup that me and my ex had. Uh, you know, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that my ex and I actually broke up three times. My big ex broke up three times. But the very first time that we broke up, um, I was actually getting ready to go on a class trip to study abroad in, um, in Italy for, for a term in, in college when I was there. And um, she was really talking about, like, oh, it's so wonderful. You're going to go and you're going to see Venice. You're going to go see Rome and all of these places. And I'm just, like, feeling depressed. I'm like, I, I don't care about that. I just miss you. And I want to be back together with you. I mean, I think at that point I was past the stage of openly saying that. But that's kind of how I was feeling. Um, so um, that w that's kind of an example of that, right? Uh, you know, as, as a 20, how old was I, 21, 22 years old back then? As a 21 or 22-year-old, going to Italy was a really exotic, amazing, kind of once-in-a-lifetime sort of thing. Um, and so she was really talking that up uh, for me back then, trying to help me feel better and how and highlighting how great certain things in my life were. The fifth way that you can tell if your ex is um, feeling guilty after your breakup is if they downplay good things that are happening in their own life. This is kind of the opposite side of that coin in that, okay, maybe maybe they're upplaying certain things that are happening in your life that are great, that are admirable, that are wonderful, but they're also probably downplaying certain things that are happening in their life, whether that be a wonderful new relationship that they're in or other things that are happening in their life or how great things are going since the breakup or how uh, much better they feel now that they're out of a uncomfortable situation that isn't getting their needs met or something like that. And this is just them trying not to, you know, rub it in your face that the breakup has happened and that they are maybe in a better place because of it. Um, it doesn't have to be that like, you know, oh, hey, my life is wonderful now that I'm in this great rebound relationship and um, now I, I feel free in life and all that stuff. But they, they, they just might, you know, downplay 
certain good things because they don't want to kind of highlight that uh, that difference between the two of you and they don't want you to feel bad um, by thinking like oh hey you know I'm missing out on having this great person that's achieving some cool stuff in their life so um, these are some things to look out for these are some ways that you can know if your ex feels guilty after your breakup Okay, um, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to navigate some emotional situations between you and your ex, you may be interested in our Connect and Commit course. It covers seven specific situations and how to navigate them to turn them into opportunities for better connection. You can find out more about that in the description box below this video or in the pinned comment below this video. You'll find a page that'll tell you what those seven situations are. If you're experiencing one of those seven situations, um, it might be a good fit for you. Who knows? But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do me a favor by hitting that thumbs up button, by subscribing to this channel if you are new here, um, or all of that good stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy out there. If you want to learn more about some signs that your ex uh, wants you back or maybe doesn't want you back, please feel free to check out this video series over here. Or check out this video right here. But thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will talk to you next time.